Nope, still in Teresa. I'm getting like notifications, people saying stuff in the chat on on, on like my screen. It's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's gone to that though. That's very unusual. Um, So it, oh, that's so annoying. So I've gone to look on the stream. Mm -hmm. um, so it loads initially with us first, and then it goes to Andreas. So I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, I got Dazza Snipes saying it's oh it's working now in the chat, but on my screen it still says we're hosting uh, Dazza. Yeah. To say. Uh, dear. Um, oh, it says no, no longer hosting. Okay. On my screen, we are watching contest of speed. Let's see. Apparently, we're back. Are we? Yep. Well, that's an interesting way to start the uh, broadcast. Are we? I mean, I want to see it on my phone first if I'd be like, oh, hi guys, and welcome. I mean, at least everyone watching got to see the uh, provisional pole sitter do his laps. Yeah. What it's like to go round uh, Bahrain. Um, yeah, for me, I've still got... That's weird. Yeah, I've got quite a few people in the chat telling there me... There we uh, go, hello, there we are. Beautiful, right. Finally. Anyway, welcome all. Welcome. We we sorted that out. That was weird. So you've been watching Andreas do his qualifying. So inside the driver. So you wanted some of that footage. You know what we we get up to in qualifying. Now you've seen it firsthand. So Andreas, obviously, as Joel said, went on pole with a 25.2, which is similar to pole time last night. And we have eight minutes and 36 session seconds left of the session. Happy days, Joel. Very happy days. I am uh, on board with Jay Prentice here, the uh, greatest thing since sliced bread, and uh, he's going to look to put a lap on the board, try and uh, contest some of these European 2 guys, who he doesn't usually race with. I think that's the good thing about the reserve system in that regard. I think for Pete someone Bond. that, yeah, for someone that is, um, I don't know, you would say, oh yeah, argue, oh yeah, he's tier two place. Why should he be tier three? Move him up and things like that. And then actually getting them to reserve and see what oh. they're like in the ETU two. Damn robbers, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, if I'm going to be brutally honest, that doesn't surprise me. I think he's <laughs> been having trouble with the traction this week. Uh, obviously, he didn't race last week, but this is his first full season of trying to use no traction. So. Uh, has struggled with some corners, but he's, the important thing is, as Blaze has retired from the pits, he has got a lap on the board and it's on mediums, and there's still one, two, three, four, five, six drivers still to still, 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 eight yeah. laps. Stumpy goes P5 with a 25.8. Um, uh, 
as I think Kobe's on a lap now. Let's jump across, let's have a look. Yep, he's out on the soft tyre. Currently sitting in ninth, but he wouldn't mind that now, tenth. Um, I think Arvar's just... No, Ros has put himself up to P5. P5. In the Ferrari. It's quite um, congested up at the top. Only five tenths separating P3 and P8. It was a beat yesterday, I think. Anywhere from P3 down, it was quite close. I think Ricky was a 25-7. And then there was like six or seven drivers all the way down to the 26 ones, 26 flat kind of region. It seems um, the uh, medium runners have given up on the medium idea after their first laps. So KV is approaching the last corner. A good traction out of it, and he will now pin it to the line, open the DRS, beautifully charges, and uh, it is a 25-6. Not too bad. I think he'll be fairly happy with that, because he practiced him beforehand, he said he was quite a long way yeah. off for 25, when Dan did a 25-4, he was old and bit of... He was saying he'd be happy with points, so I'm sure he'll be more than happy with P5. Yeah, points is uh, important for the Williams team, currently uh, sitting first in the Constructors' Championship um, by 12 points, so that is Team Davey, that is leading Team Stumptree, that's Williams versus Alpha, uh, and then it is really Andreas's resurgence and his continuation in his current form that has got himself, got Haas up to 124 points, so clear third in the Constructors, but has had the recent addition of Caladro, so uh, Team Denmark will uh, be looking to try and edge their way into that Constructors battle. Now I don't know whether KV is uh, going again or he's just doing a very very aggressive in-lap. But... It would probably be a very aggressive in-lap, don't forget our times that you see are... Oh well he's invalidated anyway, so... So the time you guys see on stream and the times that we see whilst obviously looking at it at the same time isn't exactly the same as what the drivers are looking at. There's usually a little bit of delay, so he's probably looking to get around as quick as he can and start what would be his final run. Don't want to leave it too late because it will get very congested. I think the wizard's on a lap. This is the, uh, the usual uh, lull that you get in the middle of qualifying where everyone's waiting in the pits for the optimum time to go out. Wizard is running out of sync, so he's going to be pushing it to try and get back round. That he's going to do close. another one. Uh, track limits we've seen this week already that you could probably abuse a couple of corners and get away with it, so um, we will keep an eye on it, but obviously if the game penalises people, they penalise it, so be it. There's not much we can do. Wizard uh, puts himself in P9 with a 26 flat, not a bad lap. No, but he's 26, he's down there on the softs, he's now 10th, because Jonathan Cox has just stuck it on pole. We didn't see that, because for some reason, Kobe Monsters still thinks Dan Robo 2000 is on pole with a 26.4 mediums, which... It now just displays for the entirety of the session, so apologies for that. We will, uh, I've got John. Jonathan Cox with a 25-2 on pole, closely followed by Dracer with a 25-2. Five, 100 slower than the Renault. So just Dynastics, Dynastics hasn't set a time yet. It hasn't left the pit lane, so a bit of concern down at Renault. I especially think when they got one on pole. The difference between what we see and what the drivers see is around a minute from a past experience. So. Now, who's going to be the first to cross the line? There's a Renault. I think that might be Jonathan Cox. Well, it is going to be Jonathan Cox. Uh, Jonathan He's not Cox even started a lap. No, uh, Jonathan Cox, I think, has just done that lap. 
Oh, so he's on his way back to the pits. Yeah, he's on his way back to the pits, so he, that is going to be tight to get back out for another run. Uh, Arbar's on his way to start a lap now. Yeah, just having a look to see if anyone's actually on a lap. No, Ford is invalidated, Thomas is invalidated. Is James the only one that's on a lap that hasn't started? Uh, right, go and bob with Jamie then. We have traffic in front. Front, yeah, that's not going to be helpful. That's a has that's in the oh, way. Teresa gets out of the way now. Just gets out of the way. May have compromised now. He's got the out from Mayor in front, and this is what happens now. End of qualifying. Wow. Oh, goes wide, but gets Doesn't away get a bit. Probably lift, yeah, he probably lifted out the throttle just enough. Um, yeah, I don't think that will have been a especially beneficial to his time. No. But it means he could still probably improve and go. It was 25.6, so that it's is what could have been. Not a bad lap. Um, he has joined the session, which is good, because that means there's another Ferrari that's being filled up. Ricky, obviously, in tier 3, who for the informal March seat. I am now on board with Arba, looking to improve his time from a 25.5. And he is two tenths up on that time. Find another tenth, and he could be sitting on provisional pole. Yeah, currently looking at a 25 3. He's going to put him, even if he just finds a smidge, could put him in between Jonathan Cox or Dracer. A little bit squirmy on exit, drives the line. Let's have a look. P3. Here's a 25 2. Look how Very close, close between the top three. Um, I think. Dan Roberts just crossed the line. Um, Caladri. Yep. Is That's just starting a lap. Uh, there is a Renault of Dynastics also just starting a lap. So Dynastics is. There's the a Ferrari one. of yep. Rosa. So Dynastics is probably what we got to keep an eye on. Hasn't set a time yet and will probably be on the softs. Um, with him. And he's on the mediums. He's got mediums, okay, brave. Uh, Lewis has crossed the line, not improved, unfortunately. Uh, fallen has gone to P11, which is an ideal spot. Who's going to be next across the line? Is it a uh, Williams? It is going to be Williams. Of that KV. Be... Looking yeah, to improve. He's not going to improve. He has Got slowed him. down. Um, as Jamie comes into the pits, followed by Jay Prentice, who crosses the line for P9. <coughs> he will be uh, very happy with that lap, yeah, I would guess. That's good for Jack. As we've got Dan Robber looking to cross the line and improve his time. 24. That is a Number very good lap. To Dracer has gone pole. We didn't see that. That's not come up on my screen, so. Caladri uh, goes P5 yeah. as the Renault of Dynastics comes across the line uh, and it's P16. Rosa himself is on the move by the way, Joel, don't want to interrupt you, four temps up through the middle sector. P1. Rosa goes pole, that's one for the cards, you probably didn't expect that one. A 25 flat is a extremely impressive lap. And there is an Alpha Tauri of no, not Titchy. No, no. Wait. Titchy is, uh, will not be finishing. It is oh, the it is wizard Titchy. that's going to be crossing the line. Probably got a little bit of slittering. Goes P11. P11. So the Prime Tune position. Hitch, ironically, knocking him out of the top 10 as the fallen pits. Racer pits. I think that is everyone. And Dracer pits. Racer pits, Dracer pits. What a rhyme. So, after a chaotic start to uh, this evening's proceedings, uh, it brought a very close and competitive uh, qualifying session. So what's that? The top top 15 separated by less than a second, John. That's uh, certainly a that, close field. Um, 
I know me and Danny discussed this week in, week out, and we discussed it last year. But this is essentially what was P4 in the Championship last season, downwards, and that was very tight, and once again showing it, so one second in between. So, Rosa, that, I think that is his first EU2 poll, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure there's someone that's very keen on the stats that I'll pick this up. Um, that is Rosa. Yes, that is. Well, at least this season it is. It is for this season. Um, Tracer in second, continues in good form. Jonathan Cox up there in third. Oh, well, fourth. Dan in fifth, probably be happy with that. Good qualifying session. Caladri in sixth, giving Tracer support. Thomas 7th, Jamie 8th, KV 9th, probably a little bit out of position from where he wants, but yeah. he can still make ground. Uh, Jake Apprentice in 10th, Wizard in 11th, uh, Lewis in 12th, Stumpy 13th, Stumpy Ball. down in 13th, Titchy 15th, uh, Dynastic 16th, Blade 17th, and Ricky in 18th, who joined us later on. So, looking for Ricky, probably go with either the one or the two stop like he did in Vietnam last week in EU3 and make the one-stop work and try and make positions up that way. Um, I haven't had any intel, but I think, Joel, fair enough, we're in Bahrain. I think it's going to be a dry race. Yeah, it would uh, be a massive surprise if it was to rain. As we wait for the cars to enter the grid. Obviously, you've got this to look forward to again this week. Obviously, racing yeah. on Thursday. Yeah. Did you uh, learn anything from last night? Um, um, not really. Um, I learned that Bahrain's not my favourite track in the entire world. Um, but other than that, no. I think uh, Tier Four's just a bit of a uh, melee. It's not much. Uh, strategy as such involved it's just sort of drive as fast as you can for as many laps as you can and see where you finish yeah i think it was very interesting last night jsac pulled off the two stop the soft medium soft and made that work because he managed to break from the train and uh, yeah. then control the race robert made his one stop work from soft to hard which was a very bold strategy call i know I made a bit of a mistake and got stuck in traffic in the last in. Um, yeah, I think that uh, I think... last in traffic is quite a important factor in the race. I'm still waiting for cars. To that's go to right. The bridge, by they're, the way. they're behaving themselves. That's, oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, don't we? Well, could they go away a minute? Gives people time. If it was Thomas in tier one, it allows him to go to the toilet, have a comfort break, get himself a drink. <laughs> Rehydrate, go again. Um, yeah, obviously traffic last night and trying to get past. It's not as easy to overtake around here than people think. Um, yeah. I mean, it's quite easy of... if you've got a car without DRS in front of you. But if you've got yeah. a car who's also got a car in front of him, who's got a car in front of him, it also becomes very and difficult to overtake. Train. Um, yeah, just, yeah, people defending hard last night, which was good. Actually, watching it back, although initially I was a little bit frustrated with the result, but, you know, points to points. And, uh, yeah, yeah, looking it back, it looked a, f a phenomenal race. There was overtakes going all the way up and down the field, which is what we wanted to see. That was probably a minute, so they could probably press yeah. the button. They want to. Arba is usually the dictator of that, though. And then we can get rocking and rolling. There we go. Wizard. The wizard. First man to press the button, followed by his teammate. I think the wizard is uh, wily enough to uh, know that was well gone a minute. It's Which definitely is good. We can, gone a minute. We can, we can get started and uh, looking forward to see if EU2 can live up to EU3. So we'll have 18 drivers on the grid. Ricky joined us late, so he'll be starting from the back. Um, it'll be interesting to see what guys outside the, uh, the top. 
that's how the top ten will do. That's all done. Fair enough, everyone is either on the mediums or the hards. Someone's going with the hards, which would suggest Joey's going hard soft at the end. Um, yeah, maybe. I think maybe hard medium. If he's struggling to manage his tyres, might be a better option for him. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, most of it will be interesting to see what the soft guys do, whether they go one stop or two. Um, I think the two stop is probably faster, but at the same time, you end up with traffic, traffic, which is a big issue. On paper, yeah, two stop is quicker, but traffic is a massive issue getting stuck behind the guys mm -hmm. on the one stop off the start, and also the guys that are uh, also outside the top ten. Was there is weaving? Massively, very, uh, very aggressively. I, I wouldn't do so. All I did last night was drive around uh, because these soft tyres are very delicate. Yeah, yeah. I think the soft, medium, soft is faster around here. But I think if you were to go soft, medium, medium, you're probably less likely to get caught in traffic. So that could play to your I benefit. Play to yeah, I think, I think the guys that. Go on the soft, medium, soft are probably the ones that save the set in qualifying. Just that, yeah. just having that extra new set enables to open up the strategic plans. Um, so it is going to be interesting though, because Haas, Mercedes, and Williams are all going to be uh, combining strategies, getting in the way of each other. So start could be crucial. We saw that last night, um, and it was fairly yeah. clean. Turn one uh, around Bahrain definitely dictates the rest of your race, let's see. And... We wait for the lights. We wait for the lights. We then wait for the glitch. And the revs have started. Put your camera uh, and, and away we go! For the Bahrain Grand Prix. It also gets away pretty well. Yeah, but Andreas However, is going to challenge. Dreyser is going to go down the inside, and that is reasonably easy for Dreyser. Yeah, Dreyser's up, Arbar's up uh, past Jonathan Cox as well. KV's made a position. Uh, Ricky is Jamie down. Jamie 1S has lost eight positions off that start. Eight positions. That's which absurd. he will not be very pleased with. Yep, so other than that, everyone else fairly clean, full and st evidently struggling on the hards. They'll take a couple of laps to get up to, to temp, but he's playing they the long indeed. game. Jonathan Racer Coxon. and Stumpy Go. have also got away extremely well. Yep, Jonathan Cox under pressure already, already lost one position, he lost another one to the Williams of Dan Robbo in fifth, and it is the train that we have seen pretty much all season. It is here once again. Let's see who's bought their indeed. ticket this evening. Now I think Dreyser's job is just going to be to get in front and try and break that DRS to Rosa. Yep. Energy management and harvesting is massively important around here because you need to use it in abundance when you get your opportunity. So, I think everyone relatively clean in terms of damage. Which is, yeah, which is good to see. And Ricky has gone past Blades. That is for P16. Making a move on KV. KV. Title cha challenge as well. I think KV might be going back at him here. Yeah, he would do. He needs to, though. Stumpy on the medium tyres made a great start. He's made three positions, but that's superior grip, though. Oh, a little bit Ooh. of squeeze, a little bit of contact. And Kirby's now under pressure from Dynastics, who's got away quite well. Yeah, Dynastics is going to go around the outside. Kirby just out of the rhythm at the moment. That's probably. Oh, 
upsetting a little bit. It's got to be careful. He doesn't Ooh, lock he up gets into very the close yeah. to the back of Dynastics there. He's got the extra grip at the moment, so he can break a little bit later. It's the mediums will start taking over in about a couple of laps time. Yeah, I think about by about lap three was uh, when my tyres started going dead last night. So. Let's have a look. Gap to leader. We've got a spinner at to, at blank it curve. Is the historic blank pure curve. Pure blades. Pure blades. As he takes the Rolex sign with him. Uh, As Dracer has actually nearly broken the DRS to Rosa. Yeah, but at what cost? Though? Already down to about forty-five percent ERS. Yeah. So he's already got a disadvantage, but that could help him Rosa in the long has run. 60, 70% now. And everyone else seems to be holding position. And KB falling in places. KB falling. and Wizard going side by side. Wizard's going to battle this hard. KB's going to go around the outside, use the Ricky line that he used superbly last night. Ooh, KB gets very close there to Wizard's gearbox. That is just built up frustration. I can feel it already. Blaze didn't pit, so he stayed out. Jamie came in, so he picked up a bit of front wing damage. And Jamie's shocking start to the race continues, but he'll probably go to the two stop. And I think Kerry's going to be looking to get past Wizard as quickly as he can. He will not want to be stuck behind Wizard any longer if he wants to. Yeah, he needs to. Wizard is, what, look at that, 1.8 seconds now behind Dynastics. Yeah, Dynastics is also very close behind Stumpy. This is going to be a good battle. Uh, Hopefully. So the medium guy is making up some good places. Lewis actually uh, holding his own in eighth place. Let's see if he can draw back in. So Blades has gone off again and it's just... It's just brutal. Now he's gone the other side. Uh, KB's got past yeah. the wizard though. And Lewis has fended off from Stumpy. Yeah, I think he's going to be coming under a lot of pressure from Dynastics as Dynastics looks down the inside. No? Yeah, he's still there. Uh, oh, and Ros is also round. round as well. Ros has dropped it oh, on the curve. I know exactly what he's done. He needs to spin it the right way, otherwise he's going to get disqualified. There it was. Ros has been disqualified. That is not ideal. For I our, uh, love this game. <laughs> so, Blaze is also retired in the pit. So we we've got yellow flags out. Is there a VSC? Nope, not Just what we yellow can see. flags for now. That means Drace has got that two second lead. Roger was pushing him, he got it within a, sec uh, a second, and before he had his little uh, misdemeanor. Titchy's getting quite close now on those medium tyres behind J Prentice on the softs. I think this is the point now where the mediums will be yeah. very much faster than those soft tyres. Yeah, Stumpy lost out with his little contact that he had, he's down in 14, so he's got work to do again. He does. Although, everyone in front seems to be in a train, so it's... Uh, Jonathan Cox, staying back. quite close to the back of Arbar. Yeah. Arbar now Glenn. into P2 after uh, yeah. Ross's in unfortunate incident. Yeah, Caledra's gone past Dan, but Dan with more uh, ERS at the moment. And probably happy where he's at the moment. P5, uh, not really getting pressurised too much by Thomas, who has yeah. got a couple of second gap to Lewis behind. So, um, I feel we're just spreading out just a touch. Now I'm on board with Dynastics, who is getting very close to the racing point of Racer. Yep. And I think he's probably going to look for a move into this corner here, as he does down the inside. And it, with a slight lock-up, it is a relatively easy move for Dynastics. It's like you saw that coming from a mile back and going, oh yeah, it's going to overtake. 
Dynastics up nine places off the start. He's definitely made up for a reasonably poor qualifying by his standards. Or well, tactical. Uh, Jonathan Cox is got the DRS. Didn't follow Arba initially to the uh, right hand side for the slipstream. Now he's just pulling them in, but I think both not. Oh, Ooh. and nearly runs into the back of him. That's the overspeed that you get, and you need to watch out for. Both interested, though, Joel, not using overtake down the straight. Yeah, I think, well, Jonathan Cox with 30% probably is going to be quite um, cautious with his use from now on, because once it's gone, it's quite hard to gain back without losing so much time. So... Now all the soft runners will probably be pitting in about three laps or so. Well, it depends what they want to do. I think the soft runners you could see probably stop this lap, lap from lap six of 29. Uh, everyone's kind of holding station at the moment. I think the likes of Dan maybe just sitting there and uh, waiting for yeah. the opportunity. Although Jonathan he's gone Potts. for the overtake. Oh, and oh, there's and contact. I yeah. just caught the end of that. I can't, not gonna lie, I kind of saw that coming. That door got slammed on, but. He's back he's going be, right next to yeah, his team. Yeah, he's got to be really careful, though, because those soft tyres will be overheating. I wouldn't be surprised if he pits because of that. Um, now, I think Jonathan Cox might be looking for the move this time round on Arbar going into the main straight. Well, going on to the main straight. However, he's fallen so back far. quite heavily on that uh, throughout that last corner. Tell you what, that Red Bull's a bullet in a straight line. It is. I think uh, we've Thompson's got Ricky going reasonably easily past Titchy. Seems to be. Yeah. And that's Ricky up into the points for now. Yeah, we've got the uh, the early stoppers. Uh, Thomas has gone to the hard, so he's going to the end. Dan and. Jack have gone with the medium tyre, and Jane managed to get out ahead of these guys. So yeah, he's. Uh, I think he's probably going to be able to take another set of mediums to the end if he pits again to mediums, maybe hards, if he's um, worried about his tyre wear. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how Thomas did. Robert made, managed to make those hards work really well last night. Uh, with the back then as well, it aided him to uh, stay in touch. So let's see how much of a pace advantage these mediums have over the hearts. Arbal actually making movements. He's dragging Jonathan Cox with him, but that gap out front is what 1.3 now. So, uh... Yeah, Drace has Drace has done a good job to get ahead and pull out DRS. That has been uh, all in his game plan. Haven't qualified. P2, as he pits, actually. He pits, and Arbon and Jonathan Cox go longer. Caledro obviously goes longer as well. Uh, KV goes long, so if yeah. all the other soft guys stay out, which surprises me a little. Titchy uh, may be looking for the move on Ricky. Thinks better of it. Seems just to be stuck behind Ricky at the moment. Uh -huh. Ricky, super... Defended superbly yesterday. Uh, probably didn't have the pace that he desired, but made that Ferrari the widest thing in existence. And Titchi <laughs> is uh, stuck behind. Yeah, he's getting Fair very enough, close. I saw, I, I saw two for Alfa Romeo's last night stuck behind a Ferrari. This is very similar. I'm having a bit of deja vu. Um, Titchi's been very conservative with his use of the ERS. Still got 90% thereabouts, whereas Ricky's only got 45, so he may be able to use that to his advantage. Now, you know who I'm looking at here? Dynastics. Oh. Only going to have to pit to hards to get to the yep. end. Open to P4 and really showing some pace. I think he uh, is in for a shout for a podium here. So, pit delta is 20... Oh, I need to get this right. I want to say 24 seconds, but I don't think it is. I'm going to go and check. Because at the moment, he is currently... If we're looking to the likes and of where Dan is, 26 seconds. 
Arbar, Kaladri, and Jonathan Cox have all pitted along with KV. Now Jonathan Cox goes to the mediums, whereas Kaladri and Arbar have picked the hard tyre, as has KV. That could play out interestingly during the yeah, latter so stages. Yeah, exactly what we discussed earlier. We, we we're going to see where who does what, and it's quite a, a change of strategy or a, different, a difference in strategy between uh, the drivers. Uh, pit lane delta is about 24 seconds on average as Jay Prince picks up a three second time penalty. He's looking very eager to get past KV here. He won't want to be stuck behind KV on those hard compound tyre. Hard tyres will take a couple of seconds. A couple of seconds? We're going to take more than that. We're going to take a couple of laps to. Uh... As I think Titchy might be sizing up a move on Ricky soon. I've been saying this probably since lap three. Uh, still stuck behind the Ferrari. Um, he is. And they're top four though, spread out really. Now Dynastics has got past Racer and managed to pull four and a half seconds which is pretty incredible on the same tyre. As Titch is not using his overtake here. I just think maybe if he did use his overtake he might be able to get past. But... Oh, Ricky runs deep but See if Titch gets. Oh, he, I think Titchy could be lining up into turn three. Oh, he uses the curb though. Still not using his overtake though. Yeah, the, I think the curb scrubbed a little bit of speed off. Dan Robbo, meanwhile, goes past. Jamie just squeezes it out. Yeah, I think Jamie's just going to be on a uh, defensive, defensive mission from now on. Just trying to have a look to see. So, net lead is Dracer in P8, Arbar P9, Jonathan Cox 10th, Caledri 11th. We've got we have the LR and that's Jay Jay Prentice. Prentice. Oh, I wonder not what's the first there. one. And it's at VSC. <laughs> this is massive, so it's, it, it could this. force these guys to go to the hards now. Now, Dynastics is. Absolutely loving this VSC. He can just stroll straight into the pits, put some hards on. Average of eight seconds that you are gained by pitting under the, the VSC across all tracks. So it probably means I he's going to get out in front here. All the top six will pit here, I should think. No, Wizard stays Wizard out. Doesn't. So Maybe he's Ricky. going for the uh, nose stop again. Even that might oh, Titchy Lowe's got him low on the restart. Sorry, Joel. Caught cool, Ricky sleeping and he's got that move done down into turn one. Eventually. Super, yeah, superb bit of opportunistic driving from the Alfa Romeo driver. And, Stumpy and now is... Dynastics hasn't got past the top three Whoa, just Thomas yet. Thomas has gone well off. He was side by side with Dan. I don't know what happened there, but that was. He looked spectacular from what I saw. Uh, Lewis is also going to go try and go past Thomas. This is for position. Uh, squeeze is Thomas off. I tell you what, there's a little, there's a lot more fight in Lewis this season than we saw at some points of last season, and uh, really continuing his form here. This, this so. Dynastics now closing up onto the back of his team mate, I wonder if there'll be any uh, team orders well, involved here. His teammates are still pressurising Arbar and Dynastics is now, this, this is the challenge for the podium positions. Yeah, I think unless Dynastics can clear these guys very quickly and head on to Dracer. I think Dracer's, uh, this is Dracer's to lose, to be honest, if these guys start battling, so... And he's closing. Jonathan Cox is closing. Arbar's gonna go to the middle of the road. Jonathan, Jonathan Cox, Cox sends it down the outside. outside. 
He's still going to be there. As he gets oh, the move. Oh, Mar gets twitchy. He's not got it done, though. Oh, fights back. The Canadian fights back. Go down to turn three now. Oh, runs it deep. Jonathan Cox does a little bit wide. Oh, this is going to end in tears. Yeah, this is not going to end well. That's dynastics now. Yeah, and that is, that's for P2, this is. And Dynastics is going to have the inside line on our bar here. Should be yeah. a reasonably easy move. As long as he doesn't go into the back of his teammate. That was very close. Yeah, and teammates. I think that has worked out as well as they could have hoped for the Renault drivers. Teammates working well. well Jonathan However, Cox they get very the door. close. On Dynastics. That would have sent Dynastic's heart racing, I can tell you that. I tell you what, if he hit him there, I it wouldn't be surprised, but that would be one of the first instant reports on your own teammate that I've seen <laughs> so far. Dynastic's looks up the front right. Uh, and I wonder if Dynastic's is maybe uh, remembering him closing the door. Well, I mean, he might have to defend from Arbar here, he will, as Arbar sends it down the uh, yeah, inside. But Dynastics is going to try and squeeze so he can squeeze his way through. As Stumpy has now pitted onto the hard tyres, and Thomas gets a 10 second time penalty for corner cutting. Oh, and Thomas is yeah. round actually. Thomas is round. I've seen him go deep there a couple of times already. Uh, trying to fight with Dan, and yeah. Obviously, yeah, carried a bit too much speed, I feel. Not gone well for the Mercedes drivers today so far. Nope. Although we say that, Jamie's fighting back a little bit up to 12th, although he's going to have to stop fairly soon. As this battle is still going on between Arbar and Dynastics and Jonathan Cox. Dynastics on the fresher tyres, so. Yeah, but you would argue Jonathan Cox is on the quicker tyre, but. Yeah. It looks like he's just holding him up. Being yeah, I honest. think if Arbar wants, well, Arbar has to get past Dynastics if he wants to get past Jonathan Cox, I would guess. Otherwise, Dynastics is just going to hold that position for the Renault team. So let's have a look. Let's see who stopped. So Fallins hasn't stopped yet. Ricky's not stopped. All Titchy. Wizard, Wizard has, has just pitted now. <laughs> Um, we've got Dan, Jamie and Jonathan Cox to uh, stop again. I think Dynastics might be trying to size up a move on Jonathan Cox here. He's getting very close. Just, Jonathan Cox oh! weaving left and right. That's not uh, incredible now, defending. This obviously shows they haven't got it. They're not in a party together, not communicating, but if I was Jonathan Cox, I could you not see that my teammate is? Jonathan Cox is he's moving a lot around the track. Can you not see that my teammate's quicker? I know, I, I know he's got to stop again, but... Yeah, I think I'll, he's just... Uh... Yeah. I don't, I don't really know what his play is here, to be honest. He's dying, Nastics can hear us because he's given a little weaving recognition. He knows that he's quicker. And the longer these two battle, Arbar's just going to sit there, hoping it ends so, in tears and try to capitalise. So, Drace is leading out front, right, and he has now a nearly a four second lead now has over Dynastics. Obviously yeah. Dynastics wasn't there in the first place, but obviously VSC played it out. I think Dynastics has to get him here. He's got to get him this time, surely. Yeah, there we go. go. Gets it done pretty easily. Unless Jonathan Cox fights back. He ran As deep, though. Feels very deep. And I think uh, Dynastics will now try and clear off into the distance and challenge Dracer for the lead. And now Dynastics has got three laps fresher tyres than Dracer. That doesn't make much of a difference now, but come the end of the race, that could be the 
the deciding factor. Well, we know how quick this guy is. Um, performed really well on the one, the one race he's done with us. He's won it. Um, Andreas knows how quick he is. He says he's usually quicker than him. But has been stuck behind Jonathan Cox for that period of time. Has that prevented his attack on Andreas in terms of taking the, the optimum life out of the tyres? Maybe. I think if he can get past Fallen quicker than he got past Jonathan Cox, then he can still I, I, challenge Dreza. Yeah, I think this one's going to not be a contest. Fallen hasn't stopped yet. Those hards are. Uh, We'll be complaining a bit. Definitely. Fallen um, goes to the inside, tries to defend it. Jonathan, uh, is to the outside. And Very nice. Gets, yeah, gets it done. Nice and, uh, Andres is going to get past Ricky. This is for on track P2. Ricky not stopped yet, neither is Titchy. Ricky not giving up. No. That was, character, uh, that was a character of his performance last night. wasn't giving up on that. Um, and he's probably looking to feed out Ricky. About the moment he's going to be P14 or 15. Jonathan Cox and the Fallen. Going. Fallen's going to lunge it up the inside. Sends Jonathan Cox a little bit wide. Road. A little bit of contact. Oh, on the curb. Oh, Buzz got past. Oh, as Jonathan Cox has, has hit the wall. the wall. Now that suits our by a lot. And Jonathan Cox has wing damage. That front right is severely damaged. And now our bar's going to look to get past his teammate as his teammate just moves to the side and lets him through. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, he yeah, lets, lets him through. That would be pretty. Uh... It's a pretty easy one. Um, now, Dynastics is already close into the DRS of Ricky. Set the yeah, fastest gap lap. To, and yeah, now it's... gap to leader. Two seconds, mate. Exactly. Yeah, what as Dracer gets past Titchy. Now, he needs uh, to get a move on now while Titchy and Ricky hopefully hold up Dynastics. But... Yeah. Uh, Dan's got past Caledra. That's for P7 and 8. Jonathan Cox and Jamie have both pitted to the mediums to the end. As Dynastics is battling with Ricky and he gets the move done. On fire. One, 1. 1.8 seconds now is the lead. Yeah, he's only got a minimal amount of ERS left though. Which could. Andros, he's coming for you. He's on the charge, he's been released. The gap's coming down each time. He's got Titchy in front. Titchy will probably not be that much of a problem because of the difference in tyre performance. But that gap is just getting smaller. Drace's tyres are all about 30%, whereas yep. Dynastics are around 20-25%, which is not that much of a difference. But it is enough of a difference. Let's have a look, see if we've got any more people on the move. Uh, current running order is Drayson P1, Titchy. I think Dynastics go, might much go for the longer. move here. Yeah, he gets the move done. I don't think Titchy's going to fight that. Yeah, 1.3 now is the lead. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, if, if Dynastics pull this one off, he's uh, certainly shown he's more than capable of winning races and qualifying. And that qualified performance that we saw of his wasn't representative of his actual speed. I don't think it was just a, a whether he, it was a plan, a tactical plan or not. We could probably ask him at some point because he's looking like he's going to be on the podium or it's going to be P1 or P2 it's looking like uh, it looks like P1 at the moment with the pace he's uh, got on those hards and I think Wizard is going to be uh, maybe looking to overtake Cave Cavey 
at some point soon on the fresh tyres. Mm, KV all the way down in P10, yeah, he's... Yeah, he... It, it was going to be a race where he felt he struggled. Um, even so, you would probably expect him to be probably a couple places higher. Probably I'm now watching Arb as Ricky has gone into the pits now, along with Tichy. So they're going to hope to come out somewhere. So these boys have just done good position. a medium, a medium soft. That okay. is we very think it was possible this week. They're trying new things, they're expressing themselves, and this is the way they're going to do it. Thank you to the 35 viewers that have joined us this evening. We have about 11 laps to go. And a few people still have to stop. As Titch has actually managed to get past Stumpy through that strategy. Mm. And now he's on fresh softs and he can chase down Thomas for that singular point. Yeah, I'm expecting Speed Titch 10. to make great headway on these tyres. Uh, not stuck in traffic, got clear air between each of the cars that he's chasing down. So, yeah. uh, looking to push on. Thomas on 11 lap mediums is just going to be a sitting duck for Titchy on those softs, to be honest. Um, we've got a battle for P4. Fulton's not stopped yet. Dan's behind, probably going to stop again. And Caladre is in P6. So it's looking good points so far for the Haas team once again. Yeah, Fallen up into P4 from P14 off the start. And Dynastics has gained 14 positions from his starting position, which is extremely impressive, to say the least. Uh, Fallen has come in to fit the softs. Dan was weaving left and right to try and break the toe. Medium's probably at this point struggling. Still ahead, though, of Caladro. And only three seconds so far off the podium, so actually not dropped massively off the back of Arba. Despite his, uh, despite his spin earlier on, don't forget. Stumpy and Ricky are uh, going out oh. of here. Uh, Titchy's gone around the outside of Thomas at turn three, got that move done. Very nice move as Ricky and Stumpy are battling here. Yeah, Ricky's got past, that was expected. Stumpy on six lap. Hard compared to the fresher, higher performance softs. And it's just a matter of time when the last couple of people are going to pull the trigger. I think Caladre is going to be sizing up a move on Dan Robert at some point. Yeah, we're running out of ERS, only down to the teams now, runs deep. He knows it's coming. Dan stays out again on the so on the mediums. Might be a bold strategy, but he might, might may even try and take those mediums to the end. I mean, it'll be absolutely hammered. But as Titchy gets the fastest lap, 28.7. Which is going around the outside of KV. KV's going to squeeze. Wizard keeps his nose in like he tends to do. Now he's going to have a run at him, but doesn't follow the sip stream. KV breaks it. Oh, moves a little late. And then squeeze him out the other side. I've got a lovely view here through the helicopter. Uh, so Dan's closing in lava. 2.9, now 3 seconds roughly. Uh, Dynastics is quarter, oh, 3 yeah. quarters of a second away. Wow. Whilst we got people joining up with each other as tyres age. Newer tyres take fold. The fallen is going to be uh, expecting to get past Stumpy here. As he nearly sends Stumpy round. Actually, that was quite oh. a. Uh... 
So I tell you what, that was close. Ricky caught Thomas up on a, a really bad part of the track, turn 13. Uh, because of the performance difference, he's now going to uh, line him up into turn one. As down da Dan to... Robber pits, so he's not going to the end, he's on the soft. Going to go to the end, so he's going to have to attack the last uh, few laps. Ricky gets the move done. Yeah, now this is the issue I was uh, talking about earlier with traffic. He's got so many cars now to get through if he wants any any chance of a point. It's going to be very difficult for him. But I suppose the one benefit of stopping later on is that he can now abuse that set of tyres. Yeah. Rather than having to worry about them on the last couple of laps where they start just equaling or falling away. Now Dynastics is uh, closing up to Dracer. And has been closing up to Dracer for a while now. And he has got 40% of ERS compared to Dracer's 20. To say uh, Dracer will be feeling the pressure would be a slight understatement. Um, yeah, I think he's definitely uh, sweating it as he locks up. Personally, now, I wonder also... if Dynastics <laughs> is going to send it here. He's too far back, I feel. Yeah. He's closing low. Yeah, still a long way behind. Not the greatest of exit. Titchy gets the move done on the Wizard. That's into the last corner. That's strange because Wizard is going to get the uh, DRS uh, back. Titchy's picking up a bit of a tur here. And, and the DRS, actually. Of, uh, yeah, off KV. KV. However, he's got absolutely zero ERS left, Titchy. Yeah, Cavey's exactly the same with Wizards, sitting there comfortably. The wiz All the time losing, Dan sent it. Somebody's going to try and fight back, locks up low. Goes round the outside, Dan's going to just cut the door shut. And uh, gets P12 done, so he's the man on the move. Uh, Ricky still closing in on this battle for P6. Titchy's getting all over the gearbox of KV here. Yeah, yeah the team Davy and Team Stumpchy rivalry continues. Williams As got I class one alpha. This should be a reasonably easy move on Titchy. And I think, if I am correct, Titchy has had quite a good race here, yeah, up nine places from his starting position, which is impressive. From yeah, Mr. good recovery Titchy. from yeah, good recovery from qualifying. Uh, Same with Ricky, starting from the yeah. back, tier 3 driver in P9. Well, we all know Ricky's capabilities and his pace. Uh, probably like a few of us in tier 3 probably shouldn't be uh, where we are in terms of how it's panned out this season. In terms Watching of how right Dynastics, no, he's not a little bit close enough here. He's not, Andrew seems to just get... Better traction out the corners. That um, Renault's a little bit unstable. Dan is now up to 11th. Um, Ricky, three and yeah. a half seconds now. Battle for P6. As Titch is going to look to clear himself away from KV and Wizard. He will and break do. that DRS. Yeah, he will do through this tight, twisty section. Uh, just because of the amount of grip that he has compared to I think to he might probably challenge Racer, maybe, towards the end. On the optimum tyre strategy. Yeah, not spoken much about Lewis having a good race in at P5. Up a few places from yeah, qualifying. P7. Seven places. Not, not P7, seven places. Um... And quietly gone about his business. Um, if Titchy gets past him at the end, P6 is still a, a good result for him. Um, and Dynastics is getting closer again, Joel. But as we've seen, that has still put it in a straight line. Yeah, I think Dynastics is just saving up that ERS for one mega, mega push to try and overtake Dracer. Because he seems to be gaining that ERS a lap, whereas Dracer's on the on the last reserves of his energy. Uh, meanwhile, Fulham goes down the inside of Ricky. Ricky's going to 
hold it to it. These two are battling for p position. Yeah, don't One need or to. Two like, points. Probably need to work together and actually catch the back of Wizard yeah, and Kate. They are allowing Dan Robbo right into this uh, three way battle. Hey, these two. Uh, P7 is definitely on the guards for them. And Dan has now joined them. That's one second they've lost in the first sector. Already. Yeah. I think if you're uh, Dan Robbo, you're feeling pretty pretty blessed right now at the situation. Probably get the popcorn ready, sit back, relax, and uh, wait for... As I think Dynastics, I mean, he's got a size up a move here. He's right on the back of Dracer. Yeah, this is the closest I'll he's been that, so far. That has just rockets out of that corner. He must, must have been using his overtake. Got me move. Ricky and Fallen are still going. Dan's going to sit there. He's going to have a double slipstream and double DRS. Titch has got and past he's Lewis. Got a lot of overtake, which Ricky doesn't have. He's waiting. Yeah, he's, he's going to wait till that. As Wizard gets a 10 oh, second time penalty second for corner cutting. Corner cutting. That is not good for Wizard. Uh, and the Fallen. Fallen it's... gets three seconds. That's oh, Titchy be... and Lewis are still fighting. Lewis is not giving us up. Sorry, Joel. Oh, they've touched. They've got off. I just caught the last uh, last seconds of that. It looked like he maybe uh, pushed Titchy a little bit off. Fallen's got past Ricky again, so Ricky's going to yeah. have to fight this one back. However, Fallen does had, in that melee did just pick up three seconds of time penalties. Yeah. So, if Ricky and Dan can uh, keep this one clean, they should be in with the points. Yep. Dynastic still four temps away. He's been there for the last six or seven laps, applying the pressure. They both lock up. Can he get a good exit? That is better. Yeah, I think it's the difference between I using overtake and not. Maybe a win for the next three. Oh, not quite. He was close enough. He should have gone for it. Drace has got no energy left. Defending with all his capabilities here. I'll tell you all what he's done. Look at, look at the gap. P7 down. They're all joined together. Dan sitting there at 11, watching it unfold. Can Ricky get past? No, of course he can't. He's got 1% ERS he had on the straight. <laughs> That's usually the, how it goes for me. And now Wizard has got a 10 second time penalty. So he's going to be completely out of this one. As Dan has got past Ricky. However, I think Ricky's net P9 here. Yeah, with... Dan's got past Ricky. I've missed that one. Did not see that. I was looking down at the uh, Dynastics. With Dynastics is getting very close, yeah. It's so all getting a bit feisty out there. You can tell yeah, tensions are rising. There's been battles. People have been forced off track. They're fighting hard. Elbows out. It's Dan on Fallen. Both with DRS, though. Dan uses the extra overtake that he's got enabled. Sends it down the inside. Squeezes Fallen out. Next stop, the Wizard. Then it's KV. And I think Dynastics... I, if he doesn't go for it here, then... Yeah, he's got it. It's easy. Yeah. Gone. Trace has got no ERS to defend with. It's been a valiant effort from the Dane, who's been overtaken by Dynastics, and it has eventually succumbed to the Renault driver, although he's going to probably try and fight back. Uh, Titchy's got past Lewis, meanwhile, for P5 and 6. I think Battle for the League could be done, unless there's any penalties that we haven't seen. Dan and Wizards. Sorry, Joel, Dan and Wizard once again. These two have battled all the time. Dan goes on oh, the grass. No, no and that hits the wall. Oh, he didn't need, he really didn't need to do that. Wizard had 10 second time penalties. He would have got him anyway. Oh, so that's really unfortunate. And that is the end of that. Fallen and Ricky are still behind. So the battle for seventh continues.
The one is off the cars. Dynastic seems with a lot, just over a lap to go, has got this wrapped up. Arbar is still sitting there in third. Kalidri closing in a little bit, but won't be enough. It's Lewis is going to hang. Fallen off. has just squeezed past the wizard. Yeah, um, the DRS Ricky's... straight. Yeah, Ricky's going to be the next one up and running. No, there is no penalties for any of the front runners. What we like to see. And it's just so that Ricky is closing in. He's got no ERS, so it's just using DRS and overtakes. Gonna be gonna send this one in. Double lock up. Yeah, Wizard's gonna hold it out. That could be it for the Ferrari man. He's gonna try again. One last chance. Wizard's gonna have the DRS in front. I think this is it, though. Wizard's got 10 seconds, though, so I mean, he's gonna get him regardless. And the, Ricky's gonna get P8 here. Because the Fallen and Wizard both have time penalties, which he doesn't. Yep. And if Jamie here can get past uh, Jonathan Cox, he can get a point yeah. if he just stays yeah. within 10 seconds of Wizard. As Dynastics is round the penultimate corner. He's coming down the back straight for the final time. He's going to turn into the last corner, locks it up. Two and a half second lead, he won't care. He's going to drive it to the line, use all the overtake, and it will be Dynastics to take the win at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Dracer in second. Arbar will come across the line. We would think in P3. P3. Yes, he does. Yeah. Caladro, P4. Solid race for him. Tichy in P5. He's done an incredible job. Yep, after a poor qualifying. KV in seven picks up some points for Ricky. As Ricky jumps, jumps to P8 and Wizard just gets his point. This gets his point. We'll see what Jonathan Cox can do. Just oh, Wizard doesn't. Oh, wow, it. In fact, okay. Wizard loses another two positions at the end. Jamie as well. And Stumpy is. Oh, this is for. This is going to be. Uh, for fastest lap, which he takes on the final lap. Well, <sighs> that was uh, entertaining, to say the least. Yes, that was a. Uh, uh, I think that driver of the day is a uh, very deserved. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, disagree with Cody's. Probably for the only occasion so far this year. Moonwalks onto the podium. So, Dynastics takes the victory. That makes it two race wins already in his EU2 debut season. Double Dane podium, followed up by Canadians, so a lot of red and white on the podium in the cham uh, Champagne celebrations. So that wraps it up. Dynastics takes the win with Dracer P2, Arbar P3, Caladri in P4, good race for him, Titch in P5, Racer 6th, he'll take that. Uh, KV in 7th, Ricky in 8th, Fallen in 9th, Jonathan Cox in 10th, and that rounds out the top 10. Yep. Jay just finished outside the points, Wizard picking up that 10 second time penalty, Dan probably a little bit unlucky towards the end. Uh, Thomas with a DNF as well, Jay Prentice and Blade, and, and uh, well, Rosa unfortunately got disqualified uh, after his little spin. Be interesting to see. Slightly unfortunate on his uh, behalf. So, I will uh, make my way to the invitation screen and invite our three podium candidates in with us. Can have a little bit of a little bit of a chat to see how they found it.
talking to Arbar first. Get that Red Bull up on the screen. Need the Renault up on the screen, really. Argu arguments just say, let's have the Renault first, please. Go on, then I'll get that Renault up on the screen. Very nice often, car, I have to we've say. We've not often seen the Renault, though, this season. No. So, uh, much needed. For some reason, I can't find Dynastics, which. There he is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So whilst we wait for them to join, I suppose I'll start doing some plugs as Daddy's not here, and I've probably got to do. Uh, hope that you can join us again later on. AM2 will be at 9 p.m. Eastern and 2 a.m. UK, and then EU1 is tomorrow at 10 p.m. UK, and EU4 is Thursday, where you can see Joel race again for the second time this week at 10 p.m. UK as well. All will be round Bahrain before we move on to. Australia next week. The gentlemen are arriving, which is beautiful to see. Uh, I think Arby is here first. He is. Uh, we shall have a little chat to him, see, see what he thought of it all. Arby, how are we? Uh, um, how was that for you? It was it was pretty low key. I just kind of like drove by myself, except for when. Uh, I don't know if you guys caught it when Jonathan came across Fallen and then something weird happened and he ended up in a wall. That was kind yeah. of scary. Yeah, I think um, I think we caught that. Yeah, we saw the Renault slash Red Bull um, battle that yeah. commenced. Were well, you a bit surprised though to see um, the Renaults going hard at each other? Well, so okay. <laughs> I I completely thought that. Um, Dynastics hadn't hit yet for some reason, so I thought it was kind of odd that they were just kind of giving her. But I, you know, if it, it was for position and he needed to go catch uh, Dressa, um, it makes sense. But it was it was very exciting, so I didn't mind watching them <laughs> just to go at it once they got by me. Yeah, no, you really, uh, uh, go on, mate. you really did the uh, classic Max Verstappen, just uh, driving around in a. P3 for the race. Uh, was there any uh, highlights or special points that you enjoyed? Um. Well, normally I'm just the worst driver on tire wear, so this getting the sauce and the hards to the end was kind of a stretch. Um, the other Haas was about three seconds towards the end of that stint, and he got it to 1.8 by the time he finished. So I, I was just happy to get to the finish line where I did. A good, good result for yourself, that probably puts you up into P4 in the championship, which is hotly contested at the moment, because it's quite congested with the rest of the field. So, uh, congratulations on your P3. Uh, Thanks. Hopefully you uh, will be returning onto the podium next week. Uh, so, we'll move on to Andreas, our first day that we're going to probably speak to tonight. Andreas, <laughs> how was that for you? Were you... Uh, were you a bit scared once uh, Dynastics got released? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was at a party with him, uh, so I knew he was he was quick, and he the VSC really really helped him out uh, a lot. He probably would have catched me anyway. I think he, he had quite a lot of pace, but but yeah, it it didn't make my life easier. At least um, I was quite surprised to to even start that far up the grid to be honest because normally Bahrain is one of my yeah weaker tracks I don't like it very much and uh, the controllers are quite good around here and I know Dynastics is on a controller so so I knew, knew, knew he had a lot of pace uh, when he when he got released um, so I was just pushing 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 uh, and I was in a party with him and I knew he just <laughs> he was just going lean and, and talking and, and stuff and I was just sweating my ass off so sorry, sorry. <laughs> to, 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 to you, you, was yeah. yeah a little bit a little bit so now, uh, yeah. 
you were Dynastic was following you around for quite a while. Were you um, and, he, and he couldn't get past you on the straights. Were you running a, a special wing configuration? Uh, I was running line? two seven. Uh, so quite normal this time <laughs> compared to other races where I've been a bit. So I've done some weird setups, but this one was two seven, I think. Um, so not nothing too special. Uh, I think he was saving ERS to be honest. Uh, but but yeah, got some got some all right exits out of the the last corner and the first two corners, and then was able to stay in front. But but when he got past, I knew I couldn't keep up with him. He pulled away like one second within one sector, so a yeah. bit of a yeah. But I'm happy drive. with Pete. I'm happy with Peter, and if I'm, I need to be beaten by someone, I'm happy that it's a fellow Dane. I would like it to be in Kalitra instead, in the other house, but but Dynastics, well done to him. He's he's quick. Yeah, that means you've extended your championship lead as well. So Can we start, talk, can we start talking about the title yet? Or? <laughs> a bit early, a bit early. Well, we're halfway through the season. Next yeah. week's halfway. Mate, uh, I've... I've been ahead by a lot of points in another league I'm racing in, and I threw that all the way in the last part of the season, so I won't talk about it yet. <laughs> Need to get to the end first. Well, hopefully you can continue this uh, impressive run of form that you've had lately, and uh, hopefully we'll be back uh, next week. We will move on to our race at Victor. He's been waiting very patiently. Um, Dynastics, congratulations. Uh, race winner once again. I think that's two wins from two race entries so far. Um, yeah. Must be pretty happy with that result. Obviously, VSC massively helped you out, but you know, if it's if the opportunity is there, surely you'll take it, which you did. Yeah, of course you have to uh, take every chance you got. So uh, I was quite lucky with the VSC and uh, managed to gain a lot of uh, position out of that. So. Uh, yeah, maybe that's the the VSC gave me the victory today. I'm not sure I would uh, I would be able to catch stress to be honest uh, if it wasn't there because of traffic and uh, and stuff. So it would be quite hard. But uh, yeah, still a very uh, impressive race win with or without VSC. Now you uh, didn't didn't set a lap for a long time in qualifying and then decided you would try the mediums. Was there any uh, thinking <laughs> behind that or was it just a sort of... <laughs> was it tactical or were we just having a bit of a rubbish qualifying? Uh, no, it was an emergency meeting uh, at my home. So uh, I wasn't near the PlayStation uh, the first 10 minutes of uh, the qualifying session. So... Uh, so that's why I didn't set a lap time, and uh, I tried on the mediums. Uh, don't know why, but uh, yeah, I did try and yeah, start P16, pretty rubbish. But uh, yeah, well, I managed to uh, to get a win out of it, so uh, yeah, can't complain. Yeah. Very impressive. What well, mate, awesome stuff. Right, this pretty much concludes everything for tonight. As I mentioned earlier, AM2 will be joining us on stream in about two and a half hours' time. Uh, it will be Perry, DK, and Bursey, or a combination of two of those three guys that will be on the commentary box. Um, yeah, all it's got to say is that EU1 is tomorrow, 10 pm UK, and EU4 is on Thursday. UK, the usual time, the usual stuff. Go and follow us on Twitch. Uh, give us a like on YouTube, slash subscribe, all that other good stuff that Danny just keeps talking about every week. Uh, also go and visit the Cos Merch Shop. It is currently on a discount. I can't remember how much. I think it's 15%. Go over there and get, you, get some lovely stuff that you can... Uh, wear and just show off um what i've got to say is uh, thanks to joel for stepping in and streaming tonight and joining me in the commentary box mate thank I you to you too you. hope you enjoyed your first little stint and i enjoyed it very much so get you back throughout the season so thanks for everyone that watched tonight and we will see you next week in austria good evening